Previously on Wonder Song. Hello? Is that a whale? Oh! And now back to. You can't just make everything better by singing some stupid song! What just happened? Did, did you just kill the Overseer? Who are you? The name is Audrey Redheart. And I'm the hero. The hero? That's right, the hero. Chosen by Aya on a quest to defeat the Seven Overseers and rid the world of evil. Wait, I don't think you understand. I'm on a quest to meet the Overseers to learn the Earth Song. Aya already picked me. No, you definitely don't understand, little bard. Oh, well, it's Rainbow Girl. What is going on here? Um, well, basically, the Earth Song isn't gonna work. It won't? No. In every cycle of the universe, every single time, it's never worked. The world is too filled with discord, especially when it gets this old. And that's where I come in to destroy each Overseer and free the world of their corruption. And that... is gonna save the world? No. And the Overseers hold your, hold your whole world together. But when they get old and messed up like this, there's no way to fix them. Oh. The moment the last one dies, that's how the world ends. So the next cycle can start. Sorry. I know it sounds sad, but that's the way it's supposed to be. I didn't really think you'd make it this far. So, I was just supposed to give up? And just let the world in? Why'd you even tell me about the Earth Song in the first place? Because I really like you, and I didn't want to tell you no. I still don't, but I have to be realistic. I'm an angel of Aya and a guide to the hero. My job is to usher in the end, and pave the way for a new beginning. Hello? Sheesh, quit being such a baby. This is just the way it works. You really thought you could sing some song and solve everything? How about you leave it to the real heroes? Yo, Kiwi looks pissed. How about you leave the sh shutting up to you? Oh no, wait. Don't you Dude, Aubrey, what the frick? What the frick, Aubrey? Well, that's an issue, because Aubrey just killed the Overseer before we could get the song. Hey. Hey. Wake up! Shoot, hang on. I have, like, three people with almost the same voice. I don't know what I'm going to do for Aubrey's voice. Hmm. It looked like something went wrong. So I came. Um, are you okay? No. I'm not the hero, Mira not cool or strong or anything. And I thought I could save the world, but I can't. So, I'm just gonna lie here. Forever. And everyone will forget about me, and then the world's gonna end. Okay, well, slight problem with that, Kiwi. Pretty sure the pirates won't forget about you. Pretty sure your band isn't gonna forget about you. I can think of at least two pretty big groups. That's dumb. You're being really dumb. Nobody ever thought you were a hero anyway. That doesn't make me feel better at all. I mean, that's what's... I mean, that's not what's good about you. You're good because you're always all happy and singing. I wish I was like that. I'm grumpy and useless. I make everything better by being happy at it. Well, I'm not happy now. Even if I wanted to learn the Earth Song, we can't now that the Overseer is dead. Actually, no. You can talk to ghosts, right? Huh? Uh, there's still something here. Ow. Yo! What the? Uh, something's here? Yeah, I don't know. All around here. There's some kind of spirit? Mm, come on, do your bardy thing and sing. Come on, you can do it. Are you gonna make me stand here forever? Come on!
Oh, that's right. Uh, that's right, you can't actually jump here. I remember the first time I did this, I had a lot of trouble on it, just because, like... Because I thought you were supposed to, like, keep it matching pace for a certain amount of time. Well, we got that part of the Overseer song, which is pretty good, I think. Uh. Act 4. Oh, not Act 4? Okay. Interesting, so we're playing as Aubrey now? I'm assuming that these crystal things are like how much health she has. Oh, okay, so you can like... Oh, yo, I just got an achievement called Super Lightning Chain and Ultimate Lightning Chain. Interesting. Are all of the achievements... I think all of these achievements in the game are actually tied to uh, Aubrey's actions. Ow. Psst. Hey, Audrey. Don't forget. You can point your sword straight up to charge it with lightning. Ah, oh, shut up. Would have figured that out myself. No. Oh, okay. I don't know what voice to give Aubrey. Okay. This feels very weird to be like fighting things. Ow. Goodness gracious. Is this... I want to be a hero? Ow. Hmm. Well, these are definitely not the kinds of puzzles that Kiwi had. Downwards and up. I don't know why, but for some reason I expected her to have a double jump. This is just very weird. Oh, I don't want to hurt him. Yeah, great. Another human. You here to be all loud and knowing like the last one? That sure was a riot. Find a lot of good that did. The Queen of Winds is doing just awful, if you were wondering. Acting all dark and spooky. She keeps... ...birthing monsters. Well, that hits so gross. She's getting worse every day. This place just isn't the same one. Ah, shut up! I'm here to take care of the Queen of Winds. Just tell me where she's hiding. Like, take care of she. Well, I... I'm obligated to stop you. Shut up! Mm -hmm. Okay, I see where this is going. I don't want to be here for it. Just try not to make it painful for her, you know? 
She's really so sweet. Or, she used to be. Oh, there he goes! Okay. Interesting. I don't actually get to, like, move the sword like Kiwi gets to sing. Hello! Dang, those are some words. Oh, no, no. Okay. I'll be honest, this is actually a very interesting, uh, combat style. Almost like, a like a twin stick shooter. You know? Ow. Oh, did I? Come on. Eh. Oh no! Oh weird, that doesn't actually hurt you. Is this the same sword from the dream that Kiwi had at the beginning of the game? Terraria characters be like... Oh, hang on. Terraria characters be like... <laughs> anyway. This is actually a very interesting bit. Oh, frick, man. Two down. Yeah, girl. Key the bomb. I know I am, right? <laughs> Can I ask you something? Yeah, girl. I just don't get why you never told me we're gonna end the world. Till that bard was around. It's not that it's bothering me. <laughs> I was just curious. It's complicated. Sorry you found out in such a lame way. I'm not really supposed to tell the hero that until, like, the very end. Because it's hard for normies to understand why it's important. Normies. You know, like, mortals. Your planet is being doomed is kind of sad, but we're clearing a path for a new, better universe. Hey, I completely get it. Nothing normie about me. Someone has to stop the spread of the Overseer's corruption. I'm going to give Aubrey, like, more of, like, a... A cocky voice, not as like raspy as the one that I use for Joey, but with like a similar intonation, I think. And kill them all become before they become horrible monsters. Might as well be me, right? Yeah, that's why you're the hero. Yeah, girl. <laughs> yeah, girl. We're a team, right? So anything you tell the bard, you can tell me too. Noted. All right, well, I'm out. I'll hit you up later, okay? Interesting. Very, very interesting. Act 4, March of the Happy Factory. Hey, little bee. Yeah, okay. Whoa, did it? No. Cool if I call you that. Little bee. Oh, I can't sing. Still mad, huh? You lied to me. You said I could save the world. But you never really believed in me. And the earth song doesn't even work. It could work. It just never has. Learning it is... Learning it is more than going around collecting stuff. It's like all spiritual, whole world in harmony type stuff. And that part is really hard. It gets depressing, watching people try to fail and save their world. I've seen it play out so many times. Why do you even care? Because I like you. And even though I didn't think you'd make it, you proved me wrong. You're special, little bee. I'm not done believing in you. 
even if Audrey's the hero, I keep calling her Aubrey. I don't think I want to see her again. Yeah, she can be a little intense. But she's actually really cool. Hey, if you two hung out more, you'd totally love her. Trust me. Okay, I'm gonna get back to her now. Why don't you get out of bed at least? Don't give up, Lil B. <laughs> Two very boring minutes later. Is it rolling? Excellent. Hello, everyone. Future Beck here. I know, it's not exactly common that you, uh, see me in the game. Oh, interesting. Um, basically, um, so my last recording session... I'm actually gonna pause it. No, I'm not. Basically, my last recording session went way longer than I intended it to, and... Then I decided to make a dramatic, uh, a big dramatic cliffhanger. I forgot what that was called for a second. Um, and now I have an issue where episode six, the raw footage for it, is about 15 minutes long. Meaning it will probably be a 10 minute video. It will probably be a 10 minute video. Assuming that you know, nothing happens that shortens it further. So, you know. Uh, I guess we will, uh, play for a little bit here. Um, so, you know. I don't need to really recap too much of the last episode. <laughs> oh, hello, Muffin! Hi, Mom. You're finally out of your room! You look terrible. Are you going out with that look on your face? I don't know. Well, don't. You look so much cuter with a smile. That's more like it. Your friend Miriam wants to speak to you. She said she'd be outside of town. Why don't you go find her? So, as you guys might have noticed earlier, I guess he's just not- I guess, uh, Kiwi's just not up to singing. I'm glad to have you home after so long. But you've really been sticking around. Get some fresh air. Your friend Miram said she'd be outside of town. So charming with a smile on your face. Now go find Miram outside of town, in case you forgot. Good morning! How are you doing today, friend? <laughs> Why, I'm glad you asked. I'm happy, kid. The newest toy sensation. The latest and greatest from Mr. Baron. Produced at the factory of smiles, the happy factory. Get a happy kid and you can have a friend. Just like me! You don't know happy until you know happy kid. Buy your happiness today at participating stores. <laughs> Have a happy, happy day, friend! <laughs> I am afraid of happy kid. <laughs> yeah. Happy, happy friend. That's how I'm feeling. Get your own happy kid, and you can feel it too. Away. So you guys might have noticed. There's a clock up there. And it is, like, moving. Oh, Happy Kid's gone. Oh, hello, Happy Kid. What a lovely day. I love walking around Shizmet, spreading my happy happy to everyone. Shizmet is where Happy Kid started after all. Happy Kid is Mr. Baron's gift to the world. Happy Kid really freaks me out a little. Yeah, so I'm not going to go into it now, but there is, like, a time mechanic here that I will discuss a lot more later. I just need to figure out, like, how to get outside of it. Oh, hi. Well, hi there! You look really young and able! <laughs> Want to work a shift in the factory today?
sure if I trust it. Well, well, hopefully his blue is pretty good. Oh, well, there's an arrow there. Oh, she has been outskirts. That's nice. I'm here. Well, looky who it is. Finally done with all your moping. Oh. Oh. What brings you out here? Think you might be ready to meet the next overseer? There's an overseer here. Uh, yeah. You're standing right at the nexus point. Oh. So, we just need the overseer's saw. I already figured that out. I got a lot done when you were busy being useless. Oh. It's the lullaby your mom used to sing. I already know that song. Yeah, total plot twist, I know. So, I just have to sing it. And that's what I'm saying. Oh, dang, their voices are sounding a little bit similar right now. Ready when you are. Well, come on. Sing your mom's old lullaby. It's interesting how it always pauses for a second there. This doesn't sound right. <laughs> this song... I just don't think Kiwi's... I just don't think that they're in the mood to sing at all right now. It didn't work. Ugh. I was afraid of this happening. The nexus point is blocked. All these disgusting clouds in the sky. I guess I wasn't useful after all. Don't be like this right now. Smog is definitely coming from the factory. We have to find a way to shut it down. Oh, come on. Stop looking at me like that. Seeing you like this is making me mad. I, for one, am not going to sit around while the hero prances around killing overseers. So get back in there and help me figure out how to shut down the factory. So how does Aubrey, like, get to, uh, get to the spirit world? Does she have, like, her own magic portal thing? Does she just cut her way in, or does she also have to sing? Oh. What is this? <coughs> this feels like the kind of place that Mask would hang out. Yeah, Kiwi is just not really feeling it, it seems. Oh, hi. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try that. This town sucks. It's too cold and full of spot. And that stupid factory is always running. Nobody understands. Oh, you seem to give a little dog to that wonders around town. She's all alone, just like me. I try to pet her every night at 9.30 p.m. Right in front of the clock tower, Bob. <laughs> but she won't let me. Even a lonely dog, Mopey. Won't be my friend. What do I do to make her like me? My life is completely aimless. Go work in the factory, everyone says. Oh, maybe I don't wanna. There's nothing in this world for me. That's nice. Welcome to Beth's Diner. Open. Ah. <sighs> 24 hours a day. You want some grub? Uh. I'll come back for grub later. Well. Hello. Oh, nice to meet you. 
I like her. Hey, it's pretty cold outside, isn't it? Jeez, it's cold out here. Any progress on shutting down the factory yet? I can tell you rumors about stuff around town. I'm just gonna double check and just make sure that it's right. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yo, that guy is fast. Wait, break. Oh, hi. Oh, well, hello there. I'm the street sweep, don't you know? Being out late as me, you see some funny stuff. Like that astronomer from out of town, eh? She goes to bed Steiner every night at midnight. Only time she's ever in town, don't you know? I don't know what that accent is. Don't you know? Is that supposed to be, like, Canadian? I don't know. So, what happens if I order food? A lot of fun characters come through here, oh yeah. That astronomer from outer town's always here in the middle of the night. Like, midnight till 5 a.m. Always orders the same thing. Why? Who knows? Who cares? You want some grub? Yeah. Go ahead to an empty seat and eat it. In the corner. Thanks, man. You go on a lot of mental circles working this job. Stay in the same two walls, say the same thing to the same people. You want some grub? <sighs> I feel so bad for Kiwi here, you know? Anyway, so we might as well talk about this mechanic. I could pass the time here. So how long is it till midnight? Uh, like what, four hours? Yeah, four hours. And we have some time. Lord. So let's pass four hours, and now it's midnight. Hello there. Hello. Hello, Mario. I haven't seen you around town before. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Alara, the astronomer. I don't know why I gave her, like, the, the voice that Luigi does with the Hello Mario meme. Should I change that? I might change that. Let's do, uh... I'm Alara, the astronomer. No, you know what? I like the Hello Mario one. That's funnier. I've been observing some interesting celestial activity. The stars, one by one, they're going out. Unfortunately, with the factory smog output, I can't see the flipping whizbats in the sky anymore. Pardon my language. So, I can't continue my research on that phenomenon. Instead, I've taken to watching the town, plotting subterfuge. I can see you don't have much to say, so I'll just keep talking. I figured out how one could shut down the factory. I just need to go home. I'll do it. I'm impressed. Nobody's taken me up on this yet. We need people on the inside to help us. We'll have to recruit them from the people of this town. Specifically, people who are awake during the day, but unemployed. I need your help to find them, since I live nocturnally. If we gather three such people, we could infiltrate the factory and use this diner as a nightly meeting spot. Good luck. So, we've got a way to, uh, you know, do things. Oh, yo, who the heck was that? Hi. Hey, I work in the gift shop. I hate it there, but it's a job, I guess. Do you want to overthrow the factory? Well, I definitely don't love it. But overthrowing an entire factory sounds like a lot. I'd rather not run for food. Me when I'm sad and trying to cheer myself up. It's actually true. Sometimes when I'm upset about things, I'll do funny walks just so that it'll uh, cheer me up. Hi. That's not what I meant to do, but hello there. Do you want to overthrow the factory? What? Do you even know what you're saying? The factory's everything here. Chesmed be nothing without it. Be careful where you say stuff like that. Well, the other guy ain't listening. Hello? 
So I'm pretty sure that there are almost no singing bits, uh, no, like, singing-based puzzles in the most of this chapter. Instead, it's just all about helping people solve their problems through dialogue and being in the right place at the right time. Uh, do you want to overthrow the factory? I thought this... I thought this question might come someday. Let me say this. A factory may be an evil place, but the Baron is not an evil man. At least not when I knew him. It was always his dream to build this empire. And I cannot stand against the dream of a friend. Thank you, lad. I was once friends with the Baron. He left his life behind when the factory grew. He must be very old now. Ah, there's the brisk and putrid. Okay, well. Oh. You're the... Nope, that's not it. Okay. Yo, he freaking charges, huh? So. I have a kid. <laughs> I'll be happy. I have a kid. I don't like your kid. These two are switched. That's odd. That's interesting. I'm gonna hop up on these house roofs, on these houses' roofs. Well, actually, I should probably do like the outro and stuff proper now. Um, I'm just gonna keep walking. So again, this is a little bit different than the rest of the chapters. I actually really enjoy this. Oh, it's mask. Let's say hi to mask. Oh, uh, hey now, one. It's been some time. What are you doing here? Hmm. I don't know. Hey, you don't have a job to help overthrow the factory. Nah, that isn't my thing. Thanks for thinking of me. I think it's invigorating to move around early in the day. What do you think, Wanderer? I know a special place, Forest Pass the Telescope. And if you're there right when rise, the sun rises at 7 a.m., well, maybe I'm gonna say, you should discover it for yourself. Oh, dang. Wish he had told me earlier. Anyway, um,. So thank you guys very much for coming to today's video. Um, so if Future Beck is recording this, does that mean that Future Future Beck is editing it? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Anyway, um, so as always, thank you guys very much for coming. Um, this should be releasing when I'm on vacation, so I won't be live at all, but check out twitch.tv slash streaming if you'd like, or just check out other videos that I've got. Um, I've also got a Patreon, where if you give me a dollar, I'll draw you a potato. And that's really it. So, thank you guys once again for coming, and as always, I hope that you have a lovely morning noon, and I will see you again another time. Goodbye. That's interesting, the D-pad is, uh, it's actually kind of nice. Anyway, bye.